and welcome to Midnight Readings. Today we will be reading The Star's Ascendant, a little story I've been meaning to read for a while, and it was written by Titanium Dragon. Enjoy. So, this is where you've been hiding. Celestia turned her head away from the images flashing in front of her. The moving picture slowed to a crawl before halting. Hello, Luna. She didn't even frame a smile. Never a good sign. I must admit, this was not where I expected to find you, Luna said, stepping forward through the starry field, playing at little mind. What brings you here? Celestia turned back towards the field of light in front of her, gesturing with her hoof. This. Luna frowned at the image. t hideous visage hung frozen in place, glaring down at Twilight Sparkle. Is this what has been troubling you, sister? Indeed. Celestia bowed her head. Sister, t growth troubles me as well. But without Discord's power, he would never have been able to challenge us as he did. I do not believe he shall make that mistake again. It is not Tirek that troubles me. Luna blinked, moving up alongside her sister. What is it that troubles you then? Surely you're not still dwindling on Discord's betrayal. We knew he was unreliable. She snorted. <laughs> what we did not know was that he was a fool. His betrayal was inevitable as T-Rex, yet he did not see it coming. Celestia shook her head slowly. That is not what troubles me either. What is it then? Luna looked from her sister to the frozen image of Tirek towering over the youngest princess. Have you read the reports? Luna frowned. Indeed. Tirek's reach was much greater than we had feared. Discord's abilities allowed him to travel far and wide across to Crestria. From Manhattan to Appaloosa, even Prince Shining Armor and his guards were overwhelmed. There was much misery in those days where he was free. She shook her head. We are most fortunate that he did not desire to harm those ponies, for we would have been hard-pressed to stop him. You know, that's not how Tyrek's power works. To maintain his power, he must preserve his victims. Luna scowled. It is only because of that that we did not move to dispatch him ourselves immediately. A mistake we shall not repeat. Indeed. Celestia's face was as grim as her voice, a voice that Luna had heard all too often since her return. She wondered, not for the first time, how often it was that Celestia had had to use that voice while she was gone. She had heard that there were many years of peace, a fact to which Celestia attested. But it seemed almost too convenient for Luna, especially given the troubles which had arisen since being freed from the nightmare. Still, this was hardly the time to give voice to such thoughts. Is that what troubles you then? In part, we put our little ponies in danger by trusting Discord. A mistake I would not have made a long time ago. I am supposed to be wiser in my years. Luna looked up to her sister before lifting her hoof to set on her shoulder. I would bid you listen to my counsel. But in truth, your choice was wiser than I had imagined. Had we not charged Discord with bringing Tyrek to heal, he would not have seen the error of his ways and he had been considerably more subdued since he regained his powers. It was still foolish. Many ponies suffered because of my decision. Many ponies suffered because of my decision. Celestia stepped away from the frozen image of Tyrek, walking down the starry lane suspended in space. But I have come to terms with that mistake. Luna spread her wings and glided after her sister. In truth, flight had little meaning in this place. 
Such physical habits die hard. Then what is it that troubles you? I did not trust my student. Luna flapped her wings, propelling her forward ahead of her sister. Truly? She scoffed. We entrusted Twilight Sparkle with the power of four alicorns, the magic of the sun, the moon, and the heart, with dreams and visions and prophecy. Surely you cannot claim to have trusted her too little. And yet, I did. Celestia stopped next to her, gesturing her hoof as another field of light floated up before them, the crystalline interior of Twilight's throne room shimmering in front of the cloudy field of stars. Do you not remember what I said when we spoke after her ordeal? The field of light began to move and shift as ponies came into view. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry princess, princess, Twilight said. Her ears folded back to the side of her head. Celestia smiled kindly, leaning down to nuzzle at the younger mare. You have nothing to apologize for, Princess Twilight. Without the magic of your friendship, I fear things would have been much worse. But I attacked Derek without even having a plan. You told me to run away and hide, to keep your power away from him. Twilight looked away. Instead, I lost it all. You did what you could to keep your friends safe. I cannot ask for more, Celestia said, lifting her hoof to set it on Twilight's shoulder. You did your best to keep Equestria safe, and in the end, it was only by giving up that power that you were able to defeat Tyrek. Twilight stomped her hoof, her eyes growing misty with tears. But I didn't have to. If I had known what I was doing, I could have beaten T-Rex without using the elements of harmony. I put us all in great danger because I didn't know how to use your magic properly. She hung her head. You should have taken my magic instead. Even T-Rex realized what you wanted me to do. And I couldn't even do that right. Princess Twilight Sparkle Celestia's voice grew firm as she slid her hoof under Twilight's chin, lifting her head so she could meet her gaze. I never, I never expected, expected you to be able to defeat Tyrek. I was, I was hoping, hoping that Discord, Discord would betray him. him. And once the two of them had started start fighting, fighting, you might have had a chance of victory. Discord winced, ducking his head. I never, I never expected, expected Tyrek to obtain Discord's, Discord's magic as well. well. They, they were, were impossible, impossible odds. nuh -uh! Celestia took a step back as Pinkie Pie leaned in between her and Twilight, only narrowly avoiding a collision. Twilight was really cool! She was all bang! Whoosh! Pinkie Pie gestured wildly, waving her hooves all around and making various swooping motions with them as she made the sound effects. Rainbow Dash flew forward next to her friend. Yeah, yeah. Twilight was totally, was totally awesome. awesome. I mean... Normally she's, Normally she's pretty, pretty cool, cool or whatever, but she heat punched her through a mountain, and she, and she just, just nailed him for it. it. She didn't she even have a scratch, scratch on her afterwards. afterwards. Discord nodded his head. Indeed, had Tyrek not used us as hostages, I dare say she might have even won. He bowed his head in continuation. It is I who should be sorry. If I had been a true friend, this would never have happened. Luna waved her hoof dismissively at the image as it floated away. I recall the tale of Twilight's heroics. But the situation was even more dire than we had imagined. Had it merely been Discord's power, perhaps she might have stood chance. But combined with the strength of every other pony in all of Equestria? Luna laughed hollowly. Indeed. That is why I told Twilight to go hide. I did not know just how much power Tyrk had acquired, but it was clearly considerable. Had I had known he had such strength, I would have had her gather her friends immediately, attempt to use the elements of harmony. The death of the tree would have been justified. It is fortunate that you did not, Luna tilted her head. So what is it that troubles you? 
Do you truly believe that you should have bade Twilight to battle Tirek? She is clearly capable. But to fight the power of all of Equestria combined, plus Discord? That would be madness! So I thought. Celestia waved her hoof back the way they had come, and as Luna turned, she saw the frozen image of Tirek hanging before her once more. Watch. The image began moving. Twilight retreating from the monster, obviously afraid. Luna glanced over at her sister, but Celestia only shook her head and nodded towards the moving image once more. Luna sighed, turning and watching as Tirek first failed to drain Twilight's power, then destroyed her home with a single blast, scattering books and branches all over Ponyville. She nodded in approval as Twilight reappeared just beyond the blast, her oil gripped in her hooves, in less than a heartbeat. Twilight had teleported twice, simply to save her pet? Impressive. Keep watching. Luna's eyes widened as they battled, watching in fascination, then in horror as enormous blasts of magic destroyed the countryside. As Twilight, rather than dodging Tyrek's attack, powered through them, she winced as Twilight was hurled into the mountains, but her mouth fell open when... Is it true? The light does not lie, sister. But how is this possible? Twilight wields her power as a cudgel, but he does little more than anger her. Luna shook her head. Even if he was not truly fighting with all his strength. Keep watching. Luna's eyes returned to the screen as the battle raged on. Tirek raging at Twilight's strength, scattering the land in its attempts to destroy her. She possesses incredible clarity. That is not the half of it. Celestia inclined her head towards the screen as the pair gathered their power, unleashing it all at once at one another. A colossal explosion filled the whole image, spilling out into the starry space around them before fading, revealing T-Rex struggling to dig himself out of debris as twilight landed before him. It seems we are at an impasse. How about a trade, Princess Twilight? The image froze on T Rex's leering face. Twilight's friend suspended in bubbles above his head. That is impossible! Luna cried, taking a step back. It is not impossible, sister. We have seen it with our own eyes. Luna began to pace. Did he have the strength of discord as well? Celestia nodded. He hangs helpless there along with her friends. When discord returned, you bade me to conceal myself. We know from hard experiences that we too are not, are not enough to combat him. But when we attempted to confront him directly long ago, he toyed with us. He did not even truly fight. We have grown stronger in his absence. Perhaps. Luna chewed on the inside of her cheek, but not so much stronger that we too could fight him. Perhaps with Princess Cadence by our side. Perhaps. But Luna stopped. If that is so, then that would imply... Celestia nodded her head gravely. Her brother, Rainbow Dash, her... F Friends, nay, all Equestria, and she would have triumphed but for his treachery? Yes, Celestia said, stepping forward, without training or technique, barely in control of the power we gave her. Luna stared at her sister. I see now why you're troubled. With such power. It is not her power, I fear, Celestia sighed. I have known Twilight since she was a fool. She would never use her power to harm another without cause. No. She shook her head. I told her to hide. Against her instincts. To avoid her friends when she could have protected them. Celestia's ears fell. I failed her. Luna bowed her head slightly in thought as she let those words sink in. 
perhaps, she finally acknowledged, but I do not believe she sees it so. Of course she doesn't. To her, I am perfect, Celestia laughed quietly. But I fill her with uncertainty and doubt, make her fear her own abilities, make her waver for fear of failure. Twice I have underestimated her ability, and twice she has apologized to me for saving Equestria. She smiled fondly. Most ponies fail to do it once, much less apologize for their success. Princess Twilight Sparkle is a very special pony. Luna lifted her hoof to rub her chin. She has done much for us. Perhaps we should find some suitable reward for her. She paused. Cantalot, perhaps? Celestia rolled her eyes. We are not deposing Prince Blueblood. She waved her hoof. Besides, Twilight has no desire for a kingdom of her own. All the better, then. It's not as if Blue Blood administers his holding. He would be the wiser, and those who would, would thank us for it. Celestia's lips twitched. I see you have not lost your sense of humour. I did once wield the element of laughter, sister. Celestia stepped over, setting her wing over her sister's back as she leaned into her. Thank you. Luna leaned back into her sister. You are welcome, but I fear I did little to ease your burden. I did not ask you to. I spoke. You listened. That is enough. Celestia smiled, lifting her head. I am afraid it's time for me to leave. The sun is calling me. Go, sister, and then go to twilight. She'll be happy to hear you've been thinking fondly of her. Luna hesitated for a moment before putting her hoof at the frozen image. Can you set it back upon its course? I wish to see more. Of course. Celestia tilted her head slightly, the image beginning to move once more, the voices of Twilight and her friends filling the starry void as her sister faded away. And to think, Luna mused to herself, as Twilight was enveloped in a field of prismic light. I feared my sister's shadow. That was The Star's Ascent, written by Titanium Dragon. Sorry you had to see me do the guy voices. I completely forgot there were guy voices in there until I had to record, and few people can do it within a day. So, whoops. Ah oh, well, I got to practice my Discord and t -Rick. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next week. Stay brony!